So, this Bhagavad Gita uh, was spoken 5,000 years ago <coughs> to Arjun in the battlefield of Kurukshetra and uh, the science of understanding God is there in this Bhagavad Gita. Uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita uh, is the science of God. Everything has got some science, scientific book, to, un- to understand that particular subject matter. Similarly, uh, there are different types of concept of God. Generally, they take it as an idea, but we don't take it as idea. We take God as concrete fact. Uh, Just like you are seeing me, I am seeing you. Uh, This is concrete fact. Similarly, a God can be seen by you and God is already seeing you. There is no doubt about it. But you can see also God. So that process we have to understand, how to see God. That process is mentioned in all the Vedic scripture. That is called Bhakti Yoga, that process. Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhaktiyamama vijanati javana jasyami tattva. If anyone wants to know Krishna, what he is, then one has to uh, accept the process of bhakti yoga. Uh, there are different types of yogas. Yoga means a linking oneself with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, speculative yoga will not help us. Uh, you have to take concrete yoga. Uh, concrete yoga is Krishna consciousness. <coughs> so, <coughs> we have given our uh, introduction of the Bhagavad Gita that uh, one has to understand uh, Bhagavad Gita as it is directed in the Bhagavad Gita. There is direction how to read Bhagavad Gita. People are reading Bhagavad Gita uh, without taking the direction. Uh, this we have explained in the manner that if you take some medicine, there is some direction on the bottle that this is the dose. You take so many drops so many times, that is direction. Similarly, uh, for understanding Bhagavad Gita actually, you have to accept the direction as given by the author himself, Krishna. Uh, 